Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. I know we are a bit behind. I do want to let you guys know, for those of you guys that have contacted me through email or social media, please be patient. Um, we are currently a bit backed up on our emails and social media outlets. Um, you know, with everything that's going on globally, um, I did make want to make a priority my family and my loved ones. Um, so we've been going through it for a bit, but nonetheless, uh, you guys are always my priority. So just be patient with me at the present time. If I haven't responded to your emails, I will get to you guys as quickly as I can. Okay. All right. Let's get into your reading. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of May. All righty. Aries. All right, Aries, for finances and business, you have the temperance card. So temperance could represent for a lot of you guys being a bit impatient. What Spirit is telling you here is be patient. Know and understand that things will fall the, uh, fall the way they're supposed to uh, and for your highest good. For others of you, this could represent you've been extremely patient in regards to your business and finances. For some of you guys, it could be dealing with a specific a specific person, a specific superior, someone that is definitely uh, could be getting in the way of your progress. I feel that uh, some jealousy could be involved for some of you guys. Not that you're jealous, but that the person that basically has the say in regards to how you progress could secretively keep uh, your progress from moving forward. So with that being said, Temperance is here to tell you, regardless of what people have tried to do or will continue to do, do not worry, Aries. Know and understand that Spirit is making its way to open up that opportunity, that window of opportunity to be able to render you the results you've been wanting. So do not be surprised if in the month of May, June, or July, there is a major opportunity that opens up and it's almost like heaven sent that falls into your lap. Know and acknowledge that it was your spirit guide that made this happen for you. Okay. All right. So in regards to communication, air, the element of air, you have the three of swords. Three of swords could signify dealing with a, um, could be an air energy, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. For others, it could just signify that communication could be currently blocked and it could have a lot to do with feeling uh, or having a feeling of betrayal, some type of, um, some type of deceit. Um, let me tune into this because what they're telling me here with the Three of Swords is if you were currently communicating with someone that was of your interest and someone that perhaps both of you guys were feeling some type of connection. The reason I say that is because I do see flowers that are purple on both cards. So what they're telling me here is there was definitely an evident connection, but someone definitely felt like hurt but I or deceived, but I don't feel that it was actual cheating. I feel that it has more to do with like pride, like pride was involved or you felt like you were being shunned, or you felt like they weren't being serious, or perhaps they weren't reciprocating the attention you were giving them. And there was some type of blockage that happened where communication is no longer flowing. Um, so if this is something that you're currently going through, again, keep in mind that with the temperance card, I feel that there is healing um, that is involved, whether it's for you or whether it's healing of the person of your interest that is currently going through. Okay. All right. So let's see what your obstacle to overcome for this month is the Ace of Wands. Okay. So this changes. I feel that for some of you guys, um, it's almost like, it's almost like a feeling like you've tried to make some type of relationship happen. But it's almost like a feeling of like they keep rejecting or they keep being hot and cold towards you. Um, with that Ace of Wands as an obstacle, this indicates to me like a blockage, a blockage that you you just like you can't 
for the life of you uh, make this connection happen. And, and, and it's almost like very like, I'm getting very upset. I'm getting very like, oh, I've had it. I've been putting so much effort and they just don't reciprocate or they just don't let me know off the bat if they are interested in me or not. Um, and with the Ace of Wands, again, it's like that's the blockage for you to overcome for this month. And there's usually no blockages other than with Aces, other than um, not being able to start something that you were expecting already to manifest. So I hope that makes sense. So for some of you guys, it could be dealing with a person that is hot and cold. And the reason for that is because they are still currently healing their heart. It could be because they were some type of betrayal or some type of deceit in the past, or it could have been that they literally were mourning someone, a specific person that has gone on. Um, and because of this, that they're still not completely 100% healed, there's been a lack of progress or there hasn't been like this new beginning to start. Um, so... It could be vice versa. Keep in mind, it is a general reading. Nonetheless, what Spirit is saying here with the Temperance card, whatever your heart's desire is, whatever it is, whether it was to create this, like to create this relationship, like to make it solid or to for it to actually take flight, you will have that happen, Aries. But you got to be patient and you got to understand that we all heal in very different ways. Um, so again, ultimately, if this person is someone that you're very emotionally invested in, it's just about being patient. And that of being patient could be something that you yourself need to learn. All right. Okay. So in regards to love and romance for this month, you have the high priestess. Wow. You have very strong cards, Aries. Um, in regards to love and romance, this could be a person that is extremely intuitive. This could also represent a person that actually dabbles in the craft or perhaps they're very psychic. Um, and it could be the reason why if they did like go through a situation where there was some type of hurt, some type of like broken heart, um, it's taken them quite a while to be able to detach from that energy because on a, on a, you know, energetical, uh, energetically sorry energetically they're still connected to this person um and that could be why you know in this in their psyche they're still like uh, there's still that energy uh connection which makes it much more difficult for them to actually move on or to actually give you the opportunity it doesn't mean they're not interested it just means that they're still going through that loss okay now for others of you this could signify, um, this could also signify that you or your partner was in a third party type of relationship uh, where there was some type of hurt or betrayal on their part or your part with the Ace of Wands having the desire or the want or the aspiration to fix the relationship with the High Priestess Spirit is telling you, listen to your intuition. If your intuition is telling you you've outgrown this relationship and nothing's going to come from it, pay attention to that so you don't have wasted time. All right. Okay. So let's see what Spirit's message. Oh, wow. Well. I was just going to shuffle and two cards came out. All right, we're going to take them. So you have the world card here, Aries, and anxiety. I see you guys being very worried or anxious about your future. And what Spirit wants you to know is that ultimately, when it comes to what you would consider your life or your dream or your aspiration to be for the future, it is up to you and only you to make that happen. And it has a lot to do with your state of mind and what you believe in. So initially, they were speaking about some type of person keeping you from being able to move forward in your finances and in regards to your business or, like I said, finances, money-wise. Uh, someone being very close to you that could potentially help you grow, but they're choosing not to. Um, with the world card, this could signify like, deep down inside of you what is what are your fears when it comes to success do you feel worthy of it 
And if the answer to that is no, you need to get to the bottom of feeling or understanding why you don't feel that you deserve this opportunity. Or do you shy away from success? And if you do, why do you believe you should be successful? Whatever, your, whatever it is that your, your mind, your thoughts uh, relate to this specific, this specific um, situation, you've created that. You've, you've created these obstacles. You've created this person to come in and to promise you that they're going to help you, but they're just kind of toying with your emotions. Um, and, and, and it's easy for someone to say, well, why would I create that? Because it's based off of fear. So I encourage you to really analyze that. When it comes to anxiety, this could be the energy that you're feeling, whether it's in regards to a relationship, whether it's in regards to your finances. There's a lot of anxiousness. Do not make decisions based off of emotion. Make decisions after you've really contemplated and thought things through. Um, so no irrational decisions, uh, because I do see you extremely frustrated with the anxiety in the world. You may be very quick and hasty to make a decision, whether it's to walk away walk away from your business, walk away from uh, where you work at, and then later on regret it. So again, don't make irrational decisions. Take your time and analyze everything before making that decision, okay? All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. Please, please make sure to take care of yourselves and your families, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.